As we hit four o'clock on this Wednesday, big news from Denver. Just within the last hour, we've learned that Denver's police chief, Paul Pazin, is retiring effective October 15th. That announcement made by Mayor Michael Hancock, who said that Pazin has served the city with integrity during his lengthy career. Pazin has been with the department for 28 years, the last four as chief. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo joins us. And Matt, this seems a bit unexpected. It sure does, Kim. Nobody I know in the department said they saw this coming. And when I interviewed Chief Pazin a few weeks ago, he gave no hints, as far as I could tell, that he was about to leave. Pazin was sworn in as chief in June of 2018. During his four years heading the department, he wrestled with significant increases in crime and significant shortages of police officers. He prided himself on being reform-minded and community-oriented. In the press release announcing Pazin's departure, Mayor Hancock described Pazin as an advocate for improved and comprehensive training of officers and alternative police responses, and mentioned Pazin's data-driven approach to trying to drive down crime in Denver's so-called hotspot areas. In a written statement, Pazin said, quote, it's been an honor to serve the people of the city, and I couldn't be prouder to have done it alongside these dedicated women and men of the department. Mayor Hancock has nominated Chief of Patrol Ron Thomas to replace Pazin. The mayor said Thomas will assume day-to-day -day management of the department on September 6th. Kim and Tom. Well, as you said, it was somewhat surprising. People may be wondering why or why now anyway, but you certainly could say that even in just four years as chief, there were challenges and there were controversies for Chief Pazin. No doubt, Tom. Perhaps chief among them, the department's response to the George Floyd protests last year and most recently the shooting uh, in Denver, the police involved shooting of several innocent bystanders after the bars let out. So you look at the changes in Aurora and now Denver, um, police departments are really shifting in the metro area. And it's rather unsettling both for the residents of both cities and the departments themselves. It will be very interesting to see uh, who, uh, how the department responds and whether or not this will affect crime in any way. Yeah, we'll hear more about this, I think, in the days ahead. All right, thank you, Matt.